up YouTube man today I'm showing you guys the best dunks I use for my glitch six foot nine now this video it could work with a six seven six 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 eight any of those kinds of builds it's not so much for guards or centers but anything in between that it's perfect for now my build has a 92 driving dunk so you may get some of these dunks you may not if yours is a little bit lower with the signature dunks I have three on I have Clyde Drexler I have Vince Carter and then I got Michael Jordan now what a lot of quote-unquote comp people do is they only put the quick drops off one and they don't have any other dunks they only go safe now these they're a bit in between that they are a bit eccentric as you can see the animations you get with them but they're also pretty safe you know there are a lot of other great packages I would like to have, like Kobe Bryant, DeMar DeRozan, Zach Levine, but those dunks can get blocked quite a bit, and I do like exciting dunks, but I don't want to be getting blocked every single play, so this is a good middle ground. They look exciting, and they're hard to block. When it comes to Alley Oops, I had the Elite package on. I have the Jordan Killigan as well for Park Alley Oops. Those are all just about excitement, and I do have the Contact Alley Oops. Now, it's rare to get a Contact Lob animation. Lobs in NBA 2K 22 next gen are just kind of weird in general so don't expect to get a ton of those when it comes to the two foot moving dunks i got the pro and the elite contact dunks and the only package i have on other than those are the 360s i have the basic and the athletics now these are hard to block they are hard to activate as well i get them the least amount compared to any of the dunks i have on with the one foot moving of course you gotta have the quick drops off one the safest i got two reverses on reverses off one and clutch reverses off one you could throw the other one on if you want but it is a bit slow i got the rim grazer you know just if you ever want a regular dunk and i did have windmills originally but the problem with them like the problem with a lot of other dunks in the game is they were getting blocked quite a bit in comp pro m my teammates were yelling at me i was trying to be too flashy so i did have to take them off but if you just care about being flashy you're not too concerned about getting blocked sometimes you could definitely throw them on i did not put standing dunk on my build if you want to make a glitch six foot nine then i would recommend throwing standing dunk on this build you can definitely play in the paint with it when it comes to the finishing badges there's three that are important limitless takeoff post Posterizer and slithery finisher you see i have them set up you could put limitless take off to gold and put other badges like put back boss fearless finisher but having it on hall of fame is going to unlock the most animation in a dunk package you have to have limitless take off to unlock every dunk in the game if not say you only have it on bronze on silver you're not going to do all the animations that say are in the michael jordan package that are in the scotty pippen package with the finishing like i said i have a 92 driving dunk at the worst say you just have like a 75 driving dunk putting quick drops off one is plenty it's all you got to worry about you don't got to worry about putting on any other dunk you can just get that consistently if you have a low dunk and you want to have exciting dunks you can put on park dunks but they are a little bit susceptible to getting blocked and then when it comes to the badges slashing takeover obviously is going to be the one you want if you're just going strictly for dunks in the video it's just a simple gameplay maybe in the clips i was going for too many contact dunks using the dunk meter too many times but you know these dunks are good for just simple beating your defender to the paint getting a wide open dunk you know maybe getting a little bit of a contested one not so much a contact dunk honestly if you're not too worried about losing a couple games because you get blocked on dunks i would always recommend the more dunk packages you have on the merrier now if you're trying to master the dunk meter then it does get a bit tougher because you got to learn the timing of every single animation you have that's why a lot of people that do use the meter they'll maybe only have like one or two dunks on so they know the timing is going to be the same every single time let me know in the comments if there's any dunk packages that you guys use that you think i should have included in this video that you think are flashy but also safe at the same time this is sonic man i will catch you guys in the next one drop a like subscribe if you guys want to if you enjoyed it i'm out peace